Gandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Uh, I hope you all having a great morning. Um, kumusta po kayo? Kumusta kayo? Uh, welcome to our daily devotions here on, on Facebook. And we now go to the Word. <clears throat> This week, we are talking about the the Holy Spirit. Eh. We're talking about ano yung mga ginagawa niya for us. So let me read to you Romans 18, 15 to 16. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Lord, thank you, God, for this word. Thank you, God, na we get to experience, God, your love as a father, God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, All right. anyway, <clears throat> isa po sa pinaka paborito kong napapanood or nababasa, napapanood sa, sa videos, or nababasa, is yung mga nire-rescue na dogos. Mga aso, mga dogs, mga rescue dogs, ganyan. Dog lover po ako. I grew, I grew up with, with with pets, with a dog beside me. Anyway, may nabasa po ako about this dog named Buddy. Buddy po yung pangalan niya. Years ago, he uh, wandered around sa isang uh, city hall where this certain woman works. Nakita nung woman si Buddy. Nakita niya yung aso na uh, madumi, natatakot. So, inuwi niya. Hindi na, hindi na nilagay doon kung paano niya kinuha, paano niya inuwi. Pero di ba usually, pag nakakapanood kayo, when people are trying to rescue a dog, talagang nagwawala yung aso. Talagang, <clears throat> yung ganun. Ayaw, ayaw niya makakita ng tao, ayaw niya lumapit sa tao, umaatra siya, nagtatago, sumisiksik, natatakot, kinoprotektahan yung sarili. Pero anyway, ah, uh, Yun. They kept Buddy for for several days. Nagabang sila ng mga magkaklaim. Probably they put out some posters out there or even sa social media, lost dog, and ganyan. This is you, contact this. Pero wala talaga eh. I mean, walang <laughs> nagclaim. So they kept it. They kept uh, Buddy. Si Buddy eventually naging friendly siya and playful. Na comfortable, niya, comfortable na siya sa new home niya. Kung bagay yun yung new Nunyo, nu normal niya, right? Na sobrang nakaharamdam siya ng love from from his owners, from his human. Di ba? Pero he started off na parang pag nilalapitan daw siya, pumupunta siya sa mga sulok-sulok para magtago. Kasi natatakot siya. Pumupunta siya sa sulok habang nanginginig, nagsishake. Wala naman nangyari sa kanya dun sa sa bahay na yun, sa new home na yun, for, for him to feel that way. So bakit siya nagkaganon? Yes, tama po yung iniisip nyo ngayon. Meron siyang, meron nangyari sa past niya na led him to feel that way. Probably he was abused and mistreated. ba? Diba? But once he felt the love from someone na itatrato siyang parang anak. Actually, if may aso po kayo, I hope, tinatrato niyo na parang anak. Ang halagaan, pinapaluba, pinapakain. Anyway, sobrang magiging loyal sila dahil nakaharamdam sila ng pagmamahal. Hindi niya din iisipin na, yung aso hindi niya iisipin na, ay, ampun ako. Ay, ay, hindi ako, hindi ako para dito. Hindi ako uh, nararapat dito. Hindi niya iisipin. He just felt love. He felt the love. He felt safe. He felt peace. He felt home. You know, when Buddy was adopted, he experienced love and nagbago lahat. Hindi na nga mahalaga kung sino siya at ano yung nakaraan niya at ma- ang mahalaga sa kanya is yung kasama niya yung human parents niya, di ba? Anyway, tayo po mga mga tao, meron tayong mga past experiences na hindi okay. You know that causes us to push back, causes us to push back other people, causes us to push back um mga certain situation na parang okay to pero hindi hindi baka hindi okay mangyari, push back ako niyan. When we have that encounter with with God, we are now part of His family. You know, we talked about the verse, we talk, we're talking about adoption. God sent the Holy Spirit into our hearts para sabihin niya sa'yo na mahal kita. Para sabihin niya sa'yo, anak, inampun kita, pero anak kita, <laughs> at aratuhin kitang anak, mahal kita. Walang kinalaman yung kung sino tayo. Walang kinalaman yung ginawa natin. It has everything to do with kung sino siya at kung ano yung ginawa niya for us. Kung ano yung ginawa ni God for, for us. You know, mahal na tayo. 
Mahal ka niya. Pinadala niya si, si Jesus for you. Pinatawad ka niya. He made you righteous. He made you worthy to be a part of his family. You know, all we have to do is respond to that love. Respond to that uh, that, that love na pinaparamdam sa atin ng Panginoon. So, sabi niya, anak kita. Anak kita. The Holy Spirit reminds us daily nung mga bagay na yun. The Holy Spirit reminds us daily to not fear, to not feel shame. You know, as we are adopted, we receive the spirit of sonship. We can approach Him in confidence and call Him Father. Alam po natin yun na kung tatay natin, especially when you have a great relationship with your dad, pwede ka na lumapit anytime. Pwede ka lumapit na dad. Kamusta? Tengi. Yun po. Ganyan. Diretso na nga. Pero I hope na syempre yung love pa rin yung mananay. Di ba? We can approach God as a father. If, if, if there are things na yung kunyari past experiences natin na mafeel natin, I'm having a hard time approaching God because ito yung nagawa ko. Ito yung, ito yung mga bagay na experience ko. You know, in God's eyes, I don't care about that. I don't care about your past. What matters most is right now. Tinanggap mo bilang iyong ama. And what matters most is the relationship na to that we have with God is what He did for us. What God did for us. We are adopted. Yes. But God has given us all the benefits of being a part of His family. All the benefits of being His son, His daughters, His children. And like the perfect father that He is, you know, He loves us. He will take care of us. He will provide for us. You know, if, if we're going to remember something dito sa pinag-usapan natin, ito lang, regardless of who you are, Where, he came, where you came from, or what, what we've done in the past, God adopted us. We can now call Him our Abba Father. Huwag po tayo matatakot na tawagin si God na ama natin. Huwag po tayo matatakot lumapit kay God as Him being our Father. We can put our confidence in that. And as His child, as His children, we can approach Him Whatever we need, whatever we want to say, whatever is going on with, with our minds, with our hearts, we can approach Him. Lord God, Father, Lord Amahita. If may, meron po sa atin, kasi I know na talagang nahihirapan, nahihirapan mag-pray, nahihirapan i-sabihin, uh, paano ko ba i-tatawagin si Lord? No, He is your Father. Approach Him as your Father. All right, the Holy Spirit every single day reminds us that He, that God is, is our Father. And we are His children. So every day, that confidence, we should place that in our hearts. All right, why don't we all pray? <clears throat> Lord, <clears throat> if ever we've thought of Thanks, Lord, na ikinakatakot namin paglalapit, sa, paglalapit kami sa iyo. If ever we thought of things na hindi magiging okay dito sa relationship namin with you, Lord, we repent. Lord, right now, we acknowledge that you are our Father. And you love us so much. There's nothing in this world that can take that away from us. And there's nothing that we can do na itataboy mo kami. We thank you, God, for, for, for the Holy Spirit that always reminds us to not fear and not feel shame. To always go sa you, God. To always go in front of you. To always seek God. Because you, again, our, you are our Father, Lord. We thank you, God, for this love na pinaparamdam mo sa amin every day, every day. Lalo na lang sa gitna nitong pandemic, God. Ramdam na ramdam namin, Lord. Yung pagmamahal mo, God. Thank you, God, for keeping us safe. In your name we pray. Amen. Another prayer, if you are here, if this is your first time watching or, or you've been watching for, for the longest time and you've never really accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, why don't we pray? Uh, just follow me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for sending your Son, Jesus, to die for me on the cross. 
I repent all my sins and I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, God, for changing me to the person you've called me to be. Change me, renew me. Thank you for saving me. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. If you've prayed that prayer for the first time and you want to know what's what's next, and then dapat kung gawin susunod, we would like to get to know you. You know, we would like to uh, talk to you, uh, message us here on, on Facebook, and we would gladly tell you what, what to do next. You can mess, you can message this uh, link, bit.ly slash Victory LT Connect. And if you want to know, if, and if you still want to, uh, your prayer request to be prayed for, we have another link for that, <clears throat> bit.ly Victory LT Prayer. Or kung kaya nyo na naman, message yung diretso yung page. Or anyone, anyone here from, from uh, this comment section, message them and we would gladly pray for you. All right, so thank you. Uh, I hope you're, you're, you're safe right now. Maraming salamat po for, for sharing the stream. That's it for me. God bless. Stay safe.